Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, you know, sometimes that big 3D printer I have, uh, I use it to make things other than sculptures. So I had a show the other day and I sold one of my small steel pieces, but the gentleman said, hey, could you print a skull or print a, a pedestal for it? So that's what I'm doing here. Now, this is a, a, a CAD program called Rhino CAD, and I've been teaching myself how to use this. Oh my God, way more complicated than the one I have been using. Why would you go to something more complicated? Well, not only is it more complicated, but it's more robust. You know, it, it, it's, it's a bigger, stronger program, and it will do things that my other CAD program won't. With my old program, uh, when I tried to, I tried to make this round, but with an oval, and then just fill it all in like that is, and what would happen is, instead of having those nice straight sides on it, I'd end up with a dip on one side and a bulge on the other. You know, it wouldn't do it straight, smooth, square. So. I moved over to Rhino, and because it's a more robust program, it's a bigger program, you know, it, it's a much more capable program, piece of cake, did it just perfect. Once I found the right button. <laughs> you know, it's like the program of 10,000 buttons, I think. So, you know, doing this in steel, uh, yeah, I'd go to the shop, you know, I'd go to my studio, and I'd get out a big sheet and cut it, and, you know, I could make my round. Of course, I'd have to trim it a little bit because I'm going to squeeze it, you know, so i got to keep all that in mind. You know, I'd, I'd make this oval top for it and have the round bottom to it, and then I'd just have to squish it and weld it and take me a couple, three days to, you know, cut it all, shape it, fit it, put it all together, weld it, grind it, smooth it, and then you have to send it down and have it powder coated or something. But the client said, no, 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 not steel. Print it. I want to print it. He's a big gadget guy, I think, like me. So that's what I'm doing here. So design it here, take it out to the other computer, run it through the slicing program, then give it to the host program, throw it in the printer. Uh, I just checked. I've got it out there already, and the, uh, the printer said, figure about 110 hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why so long? Because it's so big. You know, it, it's so big. You know, the, this this... You know, the round part on the bottom is 30 inches in diameter, and then the whole thing is 32 inches tall, and then the oval is uh, 22 inches across and 12 inches deep. So it's a pretty good size. You know, and there's going to be a whole lot of big movement out there as that head's just rolling around in a circle and just building itself up. So before I started on this design, I knew from past experience that sometimes the tops of the pedestals that I print will come out a little too thin or the sculpture will be a little too heavy. So you'll, you'll actually get flex in the top itself when you put the sculpture on there and it'll sit there and wobble and wiggle. So you know, the first thing I did was just make a design of the oval part itself just so I could print it out, just so I could make sure uh, you know, the top was the right size. You know, so the sculpture fit up here correctly, and then I wanted to make sure my thickness was correct on the top of the, of the pedestal, so the sculpture is not going to sit there and wobble. So, add, you know, print out the top, add a little bit of lip to it, just enough to pick the bottom of it up off of anything that it can sit on, so it's being supported by the outside edge. And then just put the sculpture on there, give it a little push. You know, does it wiggle? Does it move? You know, does does the top stay straight? And, yeah, turned out pretty good. So this is what, you know, this is the size it will be, a, a different color. This was just a, a spare roll I had laying around here, just something I could throw away, basically. But I thought, hey, you know, it actually makes a pretty good tray. <laughs> so, you know, throw things in it, carry it around, whatever. Well, through the magic of video editing, ta-da! So this way I could check my fit here. How does it fit on the ends? How does it look from, you know, front to back? You know, on, on either side of it. And like I say, just make sure it's going to sit there. Just so I know it's going to be solid on the top. You know, it's not going to sit there and wiggle around.
So let me get this back off my desk and, oh yeah, time to go back to work. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.